Okay. All right, we're on. So. Uh, yeah, my best friend. Yeah. Um, yeah, we wanted to do this yesterday, but uh, technical errors. Yeah. Uh, we wanted to do a special end to the uh, Christmas beer calendar because in the U.S. we have uh, Christmas on the 25th. But uh, so the the only Christmas beer that we could both get a hold of is uh, it's all backwards. Yeah, Rogue Santa's Private Reserve. Yeah. So. I won't bother. I won't bother to uh, to read all the stuff, but uh, it's supposed to be an amber amber beer. So why don't we why don't we crack into it? All right, I'm good to go. Ooh, it's got a got a hoppier smell than I thought it would. It smells oh, yeah. sprucey. Yeah, yeah. Mm, it smells like Christmas. Okay. Like uh, Santa's private reserve. It's not, not Santa's privates? No, that wasn't what I was implying at all. Oh. So my new pint glasses that I got for Christmas, tiny pint glasses. <laughs> Is uh, it so still a pint? No, it's... It's a half pint. I don't know what it is. It's actually got a pretty decent head to it. Yeah. Uh, well, mine's, I guess maybe I poured mine. Oh, you poured it wrong, or you didn't clean your glass right. What kind of beer nerd are you? You're lucky you're across the Atlantic Ocean. I just realized that you can see my... Take this off. So. All right. It's actually got a, oh, it's got a really nice color. Yeah, coppery red. Yeah. Ooh, I can see. I can't see it through it, so I would I would call that opaque. Yeah, you can't see me. I'm gone. Ah. Oh man. All right. You see cheers. that? Cheers. Nice. Yeah. Cheers. Wow. Wow. That's good. Yeah, it is pretty good. I uh when I when I read that it was a red a red ale, I didn't expect it to be uh I didn't expect it to be so hoppy. Uh, yeah, it's get a little more hop. I like a red ale also with a little bitter to it. Yeah, that would, yeah, that would definitely be I would uh characterize this as bitter. I'd uh, kind of like that New Belgium Red Hot October I reviewed a little bit ago. Oh yeah, it looked good. It was good actually. I'll have to try and get you a bottle sometime. Yeah, this is like a an India Red Ale. Yep. Um, I think Bell's did one of those not too long ago. I tried. Yeah, I've I've heard of it before. Mostly, mostly just have you know the pale ones here, but yeah, it's it's got a nice um, it's got a nice uh, sweeter taste to it, you know, from the more caramel malt. Yeah, I haven't gotten into home brewing yet, so mm. I, wouldn't I wouldn't know all that. It's more of a ambery taste. What it kind of hops does it say it has in here? Oh yeah, we can kind of cheat. Uh, Rogue, Rogue puts all that stuff. Yeah, on. they put there and see. It's got Chinook, Rogue Farm Revolution, and Freedom Hops, Free Range Coastal Water, and Pac Man Yeast. <laughs> Murica. Yeah. Well, that's nice. Have you? Uh, really have, nice. Oh, have you gotten to try the Mocha Porter by Rogue yet? No. I'll should we up. should we end on this one? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, we we've been 
talking for like an hour about beer. I mean, probably thought that you wouldn't want to hear that. But, uh, okay, so first video review in the can. I would rate this one. I'll let you. Why, why don't? What do you? What do you think about it? Uh, I. You know what? I'd say it's out of my limited beer experience. Six and a half, ten, or out of ten, seven. Yeah, I was gonna say seven too. Um, I mean, I don't really know what's so what's Christmassy about it, other than you know. Yeah, yeah there's not there's not a lot of spice to it. Yeah, there's not a whole. But you know what? After your twenty five days worth of Christmas beers, I'm sure this is a nice. Well, this is. I'll I'll tell you what. I would bump it up. I would almost bump it up to eight. Just because it doesn't have cloves and star anise and uh, nutmeg and coriander in it, so yeah, it's it's a nice, clean, uh, you know, hoppy ale, and uh, yeah, it's a it's a really nice change from uh, from some of the the heavier, spicy beers that I've gotten. So seven out of ten yeah. overall. So, and are the Christmas beers the best I, one? I go seven. Yep. Now this is the best one. Oh. Sorry, Rogue. Sorry, America. I still I still got to say that uh, the best one was from Midfoon's Stout or or McKellar's Santa's Little Helper. But since you're never going to be able, you you can't taste those, then um, I would I would put this in the in the top top ten though for sure. Fair enough. I agree. All right. So we'll just say cheers and not try not to make this any longer. So goodbye. Bye. Bye.